Good day everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to demo a, uh, the request from our subscriber and member uh, in our YouTube channel. So if you notice in our uh, uh, screen, you will see the double curb beam. So this double curb. So meaning the elevation and the plan uh, uh, is a curb. And then we need to combine that one and uh, we need we're going to model that one in tecla structure but of course we're not going to di uh, directly model it in tecla structure so enable for us to do that one uh, we're, we need to uh, get the help of autocad so in autocad i have the plan uh, alignment here and then the elevation we're going to combine this one using the uh, rhino okay so i have the rhino here and then what i will do is uh, I'm going to uh, import that uh, 2D, uh, 2D line from AutoCAD, the, the one that I've shown you earlier. Okay, so from here, I'll just simply select this uh, curve drawing. Okay, so hit OK. So if you notice here, on the plan, you will see the, uh, you will see this uh, elevation and, and plan. So what we need to do here is to combine these two to make a double curve, all right? So this one is a very simple thing uh, in, uh, in Rhino. So what we need to do is uh, first, we need to uh, change the position of this elevation in our uh, uh, right side, so here. So if you notice elevation, this is the elevation and this is the plan. So for the elevation, I need to rotate this one 90 degrees all right so i'll just simply uh, uh type rotate rotate command and then select this all right and then there you go so if you notice it's already rotated 90 degrees or i can just simply uh, again uh, rotate it and then pick the position where i want to rotate so from this point and then there you go. So that one is the 90 degrees. So now if you go to this perspective, as you can see, I have now two curves here. One is the uh, uh, elevation and then one is the uh, plan. So we need to combine this one to make a double curve, right? So enable for us to do that one, uh, there is a very simple uh, command in uh, Rhino. Uh, this one, the flow along curve. So all you have to do is to select this one and then select the object to flow along curve. So let's say I'm going to select this object and then uh, enter. And then here, you can just simply stretch this one, say yes, and then pick the line. All right, and then pick this one and then two. And then now target target curve so this is my target curve and there you go so you will notice now that this if i rotate this one you can see the the curvature okay the curvature of that uh, element okay so now uh what we need to do now is to move this one to uh or to transfer this one to uh tecla structure as an alignment okay so all you have to do is to Okay, maybe I'll just simply, maybe I can check this one and then let's try to move it. Okay, so let's say I'm going to both both uh, object I'm going to uh, transfer this one to tecla structure element okay so now let's do this um, I'm going to uh, put here a grasshopper all right and then in the grasshopper so let me just uh, minimize this uh, Rhino, okay, and this is the grasshopper, and then let me open the tecla structure so that you can see, okay, the tecla structure here. So I'm going to put this one on the side, all right, and there you go. 
Okay, so now, this is the tackle structure, the rhino grasshopper. So in the grasshopper, all I have to do is just put a um, curb, and then uh, select the tackle structure 2022, and then select this construction object, and then maybe I can just simply add a uh, slider here, and then put that one on a color, and then link the curve to the geometry, and then this curve, right click, and then set multiple curve. So I'm going to select these two, and there you go. So if you notice here, it's already transfer to Tecla Structural as construction line. And then you can change the color if you like. So let's say for example, I want this color magenta. So there you go. Now, let's uh, continue working on our uh, Tecla Structure. Okay, so now that I have this alignment, uh, if you notice here, this is the uh, combined uh, two curves, okay? Combined curve. And then this is the uh, elevation curve. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, put the, uh, uh, along this curve, to model the, uh, uh, what do you call that, the I section. So to do that one, then uh, as you all uh, uh, know that uh, I have some uh, discussion from my previous uh, video regarding the bridge creator. So I'm going to use the bridge creator for us to uh, model that one in this uh, curve. So this one is considered as our alignment. So what I will do is just simply select the bridge and then open the bridge creator. All right, so under this bridge creator, all I have to do is uh, select more and then pick, pick this uh, uh, alignment. So you can change this one, let's say, for example, uh, uh, curve CL, all right, and then I'm going to convert that one, all right, convert that one to uh, tackle structure element, and then manage, or uh, I, can, I can just simply get that one, the curve CL, or even I can put the chainage, but I don't think uh, we need the chainage here, or maybe... Yes, we can. We can just simply draw the chainage. Just simply select this one so that we can identify uh, what is the length. Okay, so this one, it shows a 16 meter length of our uh, chainage. Okay, so let's cancel this one. And then now, uh, read alignment. Again, I can uh, select this alignment and then Okay, so now I'm going to use the curve CL. So uh, with this alignment, I'm going to add now the I section. So, but enable for us to add this I section, we we need to uh, uh, we need to add uh, a profile, a shape from the library. So let's say click an empty uh, space here, and then uh, or maybe I can use the sample this one. But uh, this one is just to uh, as a dummy. Okay, as a dummy, because we're not going to use this shape, we're going to use the eye section from the library. So if you edit this one, you will notice that this proxy, I'm going to, uh, I need to select this curve, and that one is according to the alignment, or I mean, it will place according to the alignment on the curve, curve CL. Okay, so let's uh, hit OK, and then we'll use the uh, sample, the default sample here. Okay, and then hit Okay, there you go. So as you can see here, it start it start from here. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, again, we are not going to use this one to uh, to follow the alignment here. So all we have to do is just simply put a dummy section here. Let's say, for example, sec section one, and then the material. Uh, let's say C40, and then the name is test, and then you can type here the color. Let's say two, and then the chainage is. Uh, uh, from zero to zero so we put zero to zero so meaning it will not uh, go anywhere it will just place on the on the start okay and then but the important here is to uh, to go to this uh, uh, where is that one we need to uh, select 
this one oh, sorry not this one we need to go to the component sorry huh? uh, here under the component okay so instead of using this uh, key section this one is only for our uh, reference but we need to uh, use the component so under the component we need to select the beam okay so for this beam we can now select the I section here all right so let's say for example W section uh, 300 by 310 by 97 this one and then hit OK and here look look at this one so this one is the name let's say uh, I will type here curve beam all right curve beam and then the type is uh, I will use the poly beam and then the part name uh, okay I can put also curb beam and then the profile the miscellaneous and then I'll, I'll type here uh, a sample uh, uh, material for steel any material will do all right so now start I can I can put here the start to zero and then the end is to uh, 16 16 point eight five four all right so we uh, we're going to put that one from zero to the 16 meter all right and then the interval let's say one meter every one meter there will be a uh, uh, the curve will be every one meter so anyway uh, on this case uh, if you notice there's a uh, on plane, prone plane, we will change this one later. Maybe at depth, we'll change this one to behind. And then uh, here, alignment, and then along next. All right, so let's see. Now, uh, the class number, I'll put here two. And then hit create. Let's see what will happen. And there you go. All right. So... In this case, okay, maybe I'll change this one to, to one. All right. I'll change the color and then go back again to the component and then change the position to top. Okay, create. Okay, it's top. Now, if you notice this one is one meter, one meter, I can just simply put here, let's say 0.2 to make it uh, more curved and then create and there you go so that one is more curved and then if you notice there is a uh, a rotation okay there is a rotation here so if you want to make this one straight then you can just simply change the rotation here let's say 10 10 degrees create and here is this one is uh, okay if, if it's still not okay with the 10 degrees then you can simply increase to 15 maybe yeah so now it, it seems it's it looks okay so i have now a double uh, curb beam here so once it's uh once it's done then you can just simply close this one okay or maybe save this one as curb so that you can use that one later as well all right so let's hit uh click okay so i have already the curb beam so what i will do is I can just simply delete this one because this one is a dummy and then all I have to do is just simply control P and then right click and then copy mirror all right so as you can see here I have now a curve beam or two two curve okay double curve beam so if you want to add uh, another curve beam here this one is much more simpler because you can just simply pick one or sorry use the poly beam and then one uh, two three middle bottom of your mouse and then of course this one need to put this one as zero and then here I can change this one to arc point and there you go. So you have now this, uh, oops, change this one to zero. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to add a uh, 
something like a uh, a beam here okay so you can uh, simply add again the beam from here then from this point and then you can make a copy rotate from this point so here copy rotate meaning uh, you need to uh, you need to do the another section for this and then copy rotate the beam so that it will be placed on the uh, 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 beam one and beam two. Okay, so this is how you create a double beam using uh, the uh, bridge creator and of course with the help of the AutoCAD to the AutoCAD and bring that one to Rhino. Okay, to combine the two. Uh, curb and then using the grasshopper live link bring that one inside tecla structure and then you can easily create this uh, double curb beam okay now if you may ask a hey, can can we do that one in tecla structure um, uh, it's not that it's not that in, impossible but uh, i think uh, with the help of other uh, the third party it's much more simpler so if we do this one in, in Tecla Structure, I think it can be done, but it will be much more complicated. Okay, so I hope this video uh, helps. All right, thank you very much.